Hello, my name is Joan Clevillier. I'm the artistic director of Scottish Dance Theatre and the choreographer of Antigone Interrupted. Bringing Antigone to the Edinburgh Fringe Festival and to the Made in Scotland showcase is a real opportunity for us to showcase the work in a really international context. We are really lucky here in Scotland to welcome the world to the biggest arts festival uh, in the planet. So uh, for us, it's uh, a great opportunity to present the work that we do with Scottish Dance Theatre and sort of um, get feedback from, from different audiences and build connections and bridges to explore opportunities to share the work more widely. Dancebase is the National Centre for Dance in Scotland and it really is the home of dance at the Fringe. The programme um, has a really wide range of uh, Scotland-based companies like us but also international uh, companies that come from all over the world to present their work here and so to be able to present the work in this context is really enriching for us because we're able to meet other artists, uh, see their work and, and exchange, um, exchange experiences and, and knowledge and conversations and that doesn't happen uh, in, in the usual context uh, so it's really precious for us to, to be here in the hub of dance at the Fringe which is Dance Base. The thing about Antigone Interrupted is that no matter what's happening in the world, it always has a different resonance. So, of course, when we premiered the work in 2020, um, somehow for me it was really present, the, the whole uh, political situation in America, uh, Trump, um, and, and sort of that resonated a lot with some of the themes in the piece and the leadership that we see in the piece. Uh, Obviously, right now, the war in Ukraine um, is in our minds and, and you can really see, I think that's why it's a classic, that's why you know, we're still doing this amazing piece that is more than 2,000 years old. It's, um, it, it just speaks to human condition and therefore to um, anything that is happening in the world right now. So it's really interesting to see the work sort of speak to all of those different contexts. Having 10 performances at the Fringe is, is a real luxury and, and a rare luxury because you're able to um, get a rhythm, uh, get into a performance rhythm where, where the work really starts speaking to you because you get much more comfortable in the space. You don't need to worry about you know, restaging it every time you're in the same space. Um, and even if the audience is different every night, you, you sort of get a, a, a real sense of continuity. I see my role during this time here at the Fringe, together with the rehearsal director, as an opportunity to observe um, the performance and see how the audiences are meeting it, making like, you know, small adjustments, uh, catching what's, uh, what's really alive, what's maybe um, working really well and, and and seeing uh, you know, in which sort of subtle direction we want to nudge the work a little bit. And, and of course, Selene cannot see herself, she's in the work, so in a way, um, myself and the rehearsal director become her eyes and her ears and a mirror in which see, she can see herself and adjust. I've been seeing a lot of dance in the last week here at the Edinburgh Fringe, and two of the shows that I really enjoyed the most were Occupying Eden by Rosalind Mason and Shrimp Dance by Paul Michael Henry here at Dance Base. And um, they are two Scotland-based uh, dance artists, and I particularly enjoyed how their work speaks through the body um, about you know, I suppose our connection with the environment and, and the loss particularly of, of connection and um, I think in very different ways they sort of made me uh, think about, about those ideas in a, in a different way, in a much more maybe poetic uh, way which I really enjoy. I am really looking forward to see the work here at the Edinburgh Fringe of Jack Webb and Charles de Maclean. They are uh, two Scottish artists that I have uh, known for a long time and uh, they have very different practices. Uh, Charlotte's very playful and theatrical uh, and Jack has a real sense of uh, aesthetic and um, 
really very nuanced uh, uh, language, uh, which, I, which I thoroughly enjoy. And I'm really looking forward to see these two new works. Um, and it's really exciting to see again after the pandemic, of course, uh, Scottish artists um, really taking centre stage here at Dance Base. There is so much dance here at the Edinburgh Fringe this year, and particularly a lot of dance by Scottish or Scotland-based artists, which is really exciting. Um, I'm really looking forward to seeing Rob Heaslip's uh, Straw Boys, and uh, he's been touring with the production from Shetland to the borders, and now it's really exciting to finally see it here in Edinburgh as an outdoor performance, uh, creating this uh, ritualistic uh, performance, building on, on these amazing uh, costumes. Um, and then, of course, Penny Chivas' uh, work, Burnout, which I, I was uh, very lucky to see last year, um, also here in, in Edinburgh. And I think it's a really, um, I'd say, urgent work, uh, talking about um, the fires in, in Australia a couple of years ago. And I think the way she's sort of uh, bringing that urgency into the work uh, combining elements from dance and theatre is really um, yeah, moving and, and thought-provoking. So I, I'm really excited that she's uh, able to share that work uh, with audiences this year here at the Fringe.